Stranger Things Season 4 is without a doubt the summer's pop culture phenomenon, having made a triumphant return at the end of May after a three-year hiatus. The new season of the hit sci-fi series was split into two volumes for the first time in order to get the new episodes to fans as soon as possible. The first seven episodes of Season 4 debuted on Netflix a few weeks ago in the first volume, and as we approach the halfway point between those episodes and the final two, the streaming service has released six new images from Volume 2. Stay tuned to find out what some of these images revealed along with other need-to-know part 2 details. Firstly, there are a bunch of new photos from the set of Stranger Things Season 4 Part 2, so what exactly do they show? The new images primarily hint at future adventures for each of the group. In one image, Steve and Robin are seen behind Eddie, who appeared to be driving a camper or similarly sized vehicle. In another scene, Joyce and Hopper, along with Murray and Enzo, aka Dimitri, are perplexed by something inside a shed that resembles the one Hop blew up during his grand escape in in Volume 1, it's worth wondering what happened to Yuri. Mike and Will are also seen on their way to rescue Eleven with Jonathan and his funny friend Argyle. In addition to a team planning session in Hawkins led by new fan favorite Eddie, we see Eleven speaking with Dr. Brenner, Matthew Modine. Brenner remains one of the show's most complex villains, and his menacing yet paternal obsession with Elle is enough to raise most fans' blood pressure. The final image shows viewers what appears to be a sweet heart-to-heart -heart between Max, Sadie Sink, and Lucas, Caleb McLaughlin. After breaking up at the start of the season, these two have recently begun to rekindle their young romance, after Lucas played a critical role in her escape from Vecna. However, it appears that they are still hanging out in the Creel house, which is a sure sign of trouble. On the topic of Stranger Things, here's everything you need to know about Part 2 and the recent trailer that just dropped. Part 2 of Stranger Things Season 4 will soon be available on Netflix on July 1st, and the streaming service has released an action-packed trailer that teases what's to come. The Netflix trailer teases the season's final two epic episodes, both of which run over 90 minutes. That's plenty of time for Eleven to confront Vecna, and plenty of time for the rest of the characters to perish in the Upside Down. The Season 4 Part 2 trailer suggests that we may lose some more characters. So what exactly does the teaser show and mean? Firstly, it's no surprise that the Stranger Things Season 4 Part 2 trailer prominently features Kate Bush's Running Up That Hill, A Deal With God, which was the breakout song and star of the first installment. Its inclusion in this trailer, however, has fans wondering if the lyrics may also hint at what's to come. In that song, Bush tries to make a deal with God to swap places with the man she's with so they can better understand each other. There are two possibilities for how this could apply to the last two episodes. Will Eleven strike a deal with Vecna to swap places with her upside-down friends? Or will she use her abilities to inhabit Vecna's mind, much like he does with his victims? In any case, Running Up That Hill will be featured prominently in the final two episodes of this season. Stranger Things creators the Duffer Brothers teased a really special spot in the finale in an Empire interview. Next up, we see Eddie's final moments. Eddie Munson would be near the top of the list of characters whose days may be numbered. Eddie dying would make a lot of sense for the show. He is a large enough character that his death would raise the stakes, but not so large that he would be guaranteed to survive. Furthermore, having Eddie sacrifice himself for a town that despises him would be an interesting dramatic arc for the character. The trailer shows Eddie shredding his guitar on the roof of the upside-down version of his house, which appears to be exactly what you would do if you knew your time was running out. We also see Eleven regain her powers and come face to face with Vecna. Of course, the Stranger Things trailer teases what the entire season has been building up to. Eleven and Vecna's first confrontation since Eleven discovered the truth about him in the lab. Fortunately for Eleven, the promo shows that she will regain her powers in Season 4 Part 2. In one scene, she causes an explosion on what appears to be a military base. Will her abilities be sufficient to defeat the person whose blood gave her those abilities in the first place? Finally, we see more of what is going down in Russia along with Max being back. Murray is hosing down enemies, whether Russians or monsters, with a flamethrower in Russia, and Hopper is running away from a demo dog while firing an AK-47. Soldiers armed with shields and guns raid the lab corridors. Things appear to be heating up in all corners of Stranger Things' universe. Stranger Things ended with Max in Vecna's clutches, but the trailer confirms that she escapes and is reunited with her friends. We don't yet know how exactly she was able to get away, but Vecna made a huge mistake by letting her go. After all, she now knows knows everything about his past, which should greatly assist her friends in defeating him. The gang appears to be piecing things together. They return to the Creel house in the trailer, while Robin is seen inside a version of the lab after Vecna massacres everyone there. Now, it isn't just the recent teaser that has us scratching our heads about what's to come. There are other big questions we need answered, like what role does the Mind Flayer play? Stranger Things 4 has arrived, and if you're a true fan, you've already sped through the lengthy episodes that comprise the first half of this season. While the episodes were lengthy, introducing 
introducing new characters and reintroducing old ones, taking us to new places and delving into Hawkins' long, sad history and the mythology surrounding the Upside Down, we still have some questions. As far as we know, the main antagonist of Stranger Things is the Mind Flayer, a massive monster who rules over the Upside Down and briefly possessed Will in Season 2. The Mind Flayer, or one of his minions, was either the giant gloopy monster that attacked the mall at the end of Season 3. The point is that the Mind Flayer has established himself as the ultimate Upside Down villain. This year, however, we met Vecna, a Freddy Krueger-like character who was responsible for several deaths in Hawkins. Dustin believes Vecna is the Mind Flayer's main henchman, but he appears to be quite evil, especially given what we know about his creation. More on that in a minute. Will the Mind Flayer even make an appearance this season, or are they saving it for a big showdown in Season 5, which has been confirmed as the final season? Next, is Brenner aware that One is still alive? Given that One, the very first child to undergo Brenner's strange psychological and metaphysical experiments, is now the evil villain the kids refer to as Vecna, we should probably be putting alive in quotes, like alive. So this begs the question, is Brenner aware that One is still alive? Is that why he decided to speed up Eleven's therapy, presumably to restore her power sooner rather than later, to force Eleven's confrontation with her former mentor-turned-villain? Finally, is he aware that One is behind all of Hawkins' murders? Finally, this is one of the most important questions raised in Episode 7, The Massacre at Hawkins' Lab. Eleven is seen sending One into the Upside Down, but did she invent it, or did One, aka Vecna? When she sends him there, it appears to be a wasteland, complete with lightning and volcanoes. However, the Upside Down, as we know it, is an evil snow globe filled with vines and destroyed buildings. We know that One used to live in Hawkins. He was the Creole family's little boy. So did he recreate Hawkins as he remembered it? Will we learn anything else about the Upside Down before the season ends? Is that something that will be saved for the final season? We sure hope so. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about the recent photos that were released showing some moments from Stranger Things Season 4 Part 2. Fans of the series cannot wait for the 1st of July when the final two super extended episodes drop, giving us all the answers we need to what is going to happen with Vecna and the Upside Down. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Do you think we will get answers to all our questions in Part 2? What will happen to Vecna? Will he be returning for the fifth season or be taken out completely by Eleven and the gang? Let us know. But as always, thanks for watching.